Happy New Year, guys! This is Beth, and I'm gonna be your princess unicorn today with my buddy here. I haven't named her yet, so let me know in the comment section below what you want me to name her. Before I start this vlog, I would like to thank Delicious for this yummy banana bread. Guys, if you're looking for some vegan desserts that are super, super yummy, Delicious is your guy to go. It's a must try. I'll be putting his details in the description box down below, so check it out, guys. For today's video, guys, I'll be doing a Get to Know Me vlog. I started vlogging last year doing some random cooking vlogs or taking you to places here in Abu Dhabi but I noticed that I never really introduced myself to you guys. I thought since it's a new year, this is the perfect time to make this vlog and also for you guys to know a little bit more about me. I have chose 20 questions that I got from hashtag get to know me on Pinterest. So our first question, what is your full name? My full name is Beverly Hina Sobermissana. So, fact about my last name. Um, when I was a kid, my dad always tell me that when you meet someone who has the same as our last name, they are definitely our relative. So, anyone who has Sobermissana last name there, comment down below. Question number two. When is your birthday and how old are you now? So my birthday is on July 22nd and it's 2021 and I am 30 years old. Question number three. How tall are you? Last time I checked, I am 5'4". Yeah. Question number four. Where were you born? I was born in Manila, Philippines. Question number five. Do you have brothers and sisters? Uh, yes, I do. I have a sister and a two younger brothers and I am the eldest. Question number six. What is your favorite Filipino food? I do have a lot of favorite Filipino food, but my most favorite one would be kare kare. Also because it's our uh, family specialty. Question number seven. What is your favorite foreign food? Foreign food. That would definitely be Japanese food. I love everything that's Japanese except for eating octopus yeah no no way question number eight how many country you have been to i've been to three countries so i've been to the uae which i'm currently living at i've been to malaysia and i've been to canada question number nine what is your dream country to go to? Okay, I remember back when I was in elementary school, I really loved to go to Australia for some reason. I don't know why. But then growing out and finding out that they have the most dangerous spiders, oh God, no, no way. Like, no thank you. Like, I, I have fear of spiders, so no thanks but from since i was in high school till now i would really love to go to japan like i would want to explore every corner of japan question number 10 so what is your idea of a perfect vacation hmm I think having a glass of wine while having a scenery of mountains or lake 
or ocean while watching sunset. I think that would be my. I I think that would be my idea of, of a perfect vacation. Question number eleven. Eleven. <laughs> Which country you're currently living in? So right now, as I said, I am currently living in the UAE, specifically in Abu Dhabi. I was thinking of making a separate video about my life here in Abu Dhabi. So watch out for that, guys. Question number 12. What is your dream job? My dream job and I this never really change ever since I really would love to be a doctor like for me it's something it's a profession which you never stop from learning like every single day whether you grow old from that um, job you still continue to learn new things yeah that's my thoughts Question number 13 What is your current job? I'm currently working in an advertising company as a admin executive okay. Question number 14 Can you play instrument? Um, uh, I kind of know how to play like back in high school I used to play guitar and I think until now I can play a little bit and three years ago, I started to play, I tried to learn how to play a keyboard, but unfortunately, I wasn't that good. But yeah, at least I tried. Question number 15. If you could speak another language, what would it be and why? Hmm. If I could speak another language, I would love to speak in Arabic because, oh, specifically Lebanese Arabic accent. Because there is a Lebanese, there is a Egyptian, there is Emirati, and there is Omani accent, Arabic accents. But I think my favorite would be Lebanese um, Arabic accent because they they're they're so sweet. Like when you hear them speak in Arabic, it feels like they're like singing a lullaby or like putting you to sleep. Like it's just so sweet. Like the way they speak. Oh, I just love it. Question number sixteen. If you could eat, if you could only eat, if you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Mm. Whew, that was hard. But I think I would choose to eat a Filipino style spaghetti. Yeah, definitely. Question number 17. Are you a morning or a night person? Mm, I'm a morning person. Yeah, because I love breakfast. Hence the next question. Question number 18. What is your favorite food to have for breakfast? Okay, I have three categories of breakfast. Normal breakfast, fancy breakfast, and hangover breakfast for a normal breakfast i guess i would have like toast and sunny side up egg with bacon for for hangover breakfast i would we would definitely have a hash brown bacon and some sunny side up eggs for fancy breakfast we would definitely have some 
avocado toast with some poached eggs. Mm, that's so yummy. Question number 19. Who is your celebrity crush? Oh, it would definitely be Zac Efron. Oh, he's such a hottie and a sweetheart, I guess. Yeah. Last but not the least, question number 20. What is the craziest thing you ever done? Hmm. I think it's when I jump off the cliff back in Canada. Like I know it sounds normal, like everyone does that but first I don't know how to swim and second it's funny how I am so excited to do that because I'm not really afraid of heights but the moment I reach the top of the cliff I seriously felt terrified like I couldn't jump like I don't know why and like to the point that I wanted to go back down but then crawling back down it's harder than just jumping so finally I jumped and I landed on my ass yeah ouch <laughs> yeah but it was a good experience I would definitely do it again but I would definitely do it the right way so I won't have like red ass after <laughs> yeah that is it for vlog today guys if you have any more questions or you want to know more about me let me know in the comment section down below and I will try my best to answer all of your questions thank you so much guys for watching I hope you did like this video and if you do Please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. See you in my next one. Bye.